It seems some people are magnets for karma's unique brand of instant justice. Usually, this is thanks to their awful behavior and lacking moral compasses. But when that sweet, sweet karma finally hits, it certainly makes for some fantastic stories. So sit back, relax, and let's dive right into some satisfying times karma came for awful people. Amazing. Urban Off-Roading Everyone who's ever been behind the wheel of a car can probably admit to bending the rules once or twice when no one else was around. But some rules of the road should never be broken. Not driving on the sidewalk, for example. But not only did one woman from Cleveland, Ohio repeatedly reject that rule, she did so along a sidewalk commonly walked by children. Every day, kids on a school bus would see her impatiently mount the pavement and speed along to avoid waiting for the bus to move along. But one day, karma caught up and it was all caught on camera. But the instant justice wasn't enough for the Ohio City Council. They decided to let the punishment fit the crime. So the woman was court ordered to spend one cold morning in November 2012 standing on the busy road where her acts of chronic impatience were carried out, all while holding a sign that said, only an idiot would drive on the sidewalk to avoid a school bus. It was a fitting punishment, but I think that having the statement tattooed on her forehead would have been even better. Diaper Disposal for Dummies Littering is never the mark of an upstanding citizen, but littering dirty diapers? That's like having a bumper sticker that says, scumbag and proud. But when a litter bug decided to dispose of their kids' used diapers straight out of the car window on the I-65 freeway in August 2019, karma reared its head. The dirty bomb flew gracefully through the air, and splattered immediately onto the windshield of the vehicle behind. That vehicle, it just so happened, was an Indiana State Troopers police car. The officer made no delay in writing a fine for littering and took to Twitter to inform the world. Even though a used diaper was involved, we all know the real piece of trash in this story was the driver who threw it. A short getaway. When Reddit user Twilling8 lent his Jeep to his brother, he was understandably annoyed when it was stolen after his sibling left the keys in the ignition while parked. But luckily, the looming sibling showdown was de-escalated by a hilarious moment of karma. You see, Twilling8 was on shift at the local gas station while the theft had played out. While his brother was still on the phone confessing his stupidity, what pulled up to the gas station? Twilling H Jeep itself. It seemed the thieves behind the wheel had decided to fill up before making their getaway. Twilling 8 pressed the store's silent alarm, alerting the police, and snuck out while the thieves were pumping the last few drops of gas into the tank. He then sneakily opened the Jeep, took his keys out, and retreated to the gas station. He watched in smug joy as the thieves helplessly searched for the keys and were so preoccupied they didn't even notice the police arriving. When the cops heard the story, they enjoyed a good laugh as they lugged the thwarted thieves away to the jailhouse. Although Karma closed this case quick, it would be a while before Twilling 8 lent his Jeep to his brother again. Taking the bait. If stealing and fencing cars is your main mode of earning cash, and you're not particularly smart, justice is never too far over the horizon. This is well and truly the case for the criminal couple in this video from November 2019. When they find their steal of the night with both front doors conveniently unlocked, they quickly hop in and begin to drive away with ease. There's even a laptop in the back, so it seems their luck is running high. But things get tense when the couple realize they're being followed by a police car and they're forced to skirt off down some side roads. They park up in a driveway and begin to panic as the cop pulls up behind them and approaches. But why is the officer so suspicious of the two? Well, did you consider how this whole encounter was filmed in the first place? The answer is that the thieving couple had stolen themselves a bait car, placed there by the cops for lawless citizens such as themselves. So it's no surprise when the standard excuses don't work. Yeah, this is a stolen car, this is a bait car. We didn't it's know that story. Car. Yeah. Unfortunately for these bright young upstarts, we didn't know, sorry, won't hold up in court, seeing as the whole theft was caught on camera. Thief in the Family When a Reddit user's estranged half-brother re-entered his life after many years apart from his family, he initially assumed his half-brother's motives were good ones. After all, their father was dying of Alzheimer's and the Redditor's half-brother had chosen to quit his job to take on full-time care of their ailing parent. But the true motives became clear when the Redditor's half-brother usurped financial authority on behalf of their father and began channeling their dying parents' funds into his own account. He cleaned out their father's $3,000 savings completely, and their dad died shortly after. But when the Redditor's mom, who was the half-brother's stepmom, also passed away a couple years later, 
karma finally kicked in for the thieving usurper. It turned out the Redditor's mom had originally intended to leave her stepson 125 grand in her will, but she wrote him out entirely after his thieving actions were discovered. So by stealing that three grand, he lost out on an eighth of a million dollars. The Redditor, meanwhile, received a tidy 250 grand, including the 125 grand originally intended for his half-brother. Hit the road. If there's anyone who deserves a dose of instant justice, it's drunk drivers. And frankly, it doesn't get more wonderfully instant than attempting to flee your moving vehicle and, well, I'll let the footage speak for itself. Isn't it a thing of beauty? The drunk driver was okay, but hopefully he learned that drunk driving and fleeing the cops is the wrong kind of multitasking. Use some restraint. Unfortunately for most of us, nightmare neighbors are just something we have to get used to. But for one Reddit user, Karma came along with their other possessions in the U-Haul truck when they moved into their new home. After one of their new neighbors, a troublesome stay-at-home mom, threatened to vandalize their cars and left anonymous threatening messages for the Redditor's family, enough was enough. This woman, who clearly had too much time on her hands and took a pretty odd spin on Love Thy Neighbor, was reported to the police repeatedly. Eventually, it paid off. After seeing the Redditor's CCTV footage of their neighbor's insane behavior, the court permitted a restraining order against the woman. This restraining order didn't allow her to be anywhere near the Redditor's house. But best of all, the stated range of the restraining order included the woman's own house. Every time she set foot in her home, the Redditor called the police and she was escorted away. Eventually, she had no choice but to live in a hotel until she eventually moved away shortly after. These measures certainly aren't the standard practice for restraining orders, but considering the threats of violence and vandalism the woman was so fond of, the court made an exception. Birdie scores a bullseye. Since humans developed guns, we've been at a bit of an unfair advantage against the other animals of the world. But with the help of karma, one bird decided to protest its disadvantage during its final moments. After being shot by a porch-dwelling casual rifleman, the avian avenger executes the perfect kamikaze mission. Oh. Yep, this bird has clearly been reading up on human anatomy, because man's greatest weakness, despite our use of firearms, continues to be the genitals. Sedgwick Sharpshooters Speaking of firearms, the ability to understand their true power took some people in history a little longer than it probably should have. Case in point, Union General John Sedgwick during the American Civil War. Not understanding quite how accurate and far-ranging the sniping abilities of newfangled rivals were, he berated his men when they took cover from enemy fire. Striding pridefully in the open, he continued to berate them, telling them, the enemy couldn't hit an elephant at this distance. But not only could the enemy sharpshooters hit an elephant from the thousand yards that separated them, they could quite easily hit a human too. And moments after he'd mocked his comrades, he was shot through the eye by a sniper and died. Robber's Wrong Turn In 2005, a robber found out the hard way that karma can have a real bite to it sometimes. After robbing a couple in the streets of Blomfontein, South Africa, the criminal took off on foot. Pursued by security guards and disoriented in the night's darkness, he somehow ended up in the Blomfontein Zoo. Luckily for him, he successfully evaded the security guards. Unluckily for him, he ended up accidentally climbing into the zoo's Bengal Tiger's enclosure. The next morning, a visitor to the zoo was traumatized when they spotted the thief's severely mauled, lifeless body. It was clear that while the tiger had recently been fed and did need him, their criminal visitor did not receive a warm welcome. But he did receive a toothy mouthful of deadly karma. Karma packs a punch. When a burglar broke into the New York home of an 82-year-old woman called Willie Murphy in November 2019, he probably thought it would be easy pickings. While Willie was preparing for bed, a man started banging loudly on her door, asking to let him in. When she refused, he began ramming his way through the front door, eventually breaking in. But little did he know, the elderly lady waiting inside was an award-winning bodybuilder and a trained fighter. She clobbered the intruder using a table, and when that broke, she clubbed him into submission with the metal table legs. By the time she was done, he was more than ready to leave. Unfortunately for him, the police arrived as he was staggering out and the dazed criminal was hauled away to jail. In Willie's own words, she really did a number on that man. Where do I sign up for a personal grandma bodyguard? Happy New Year. We've all sent or received an annoying New Year's Eve text or two, 
but I'm willing to bet that even your most embarrassing New Year's Eve text confession didn't cause as much damage as the one received by a Russian terrorist in 2011. The woman had planned to make her way to Moscow's Red Square with a suicide vest, which she would have her partner remote detonate causing untold devastation to New Year's revelers. The vest had been rigged to be activated by a single text from her partner, which was a measure to ensure she would have to go through with it even if she had a change of heart. But luckily, a change of heart would never be an option. You see, while she was preparing to leave her safe house, she received a Happy New Year text from her cell phone service provider. The well-meaning text triggered her vest, killing her instantly, and averting what could have been an awful terrorist attack. Turns out phone service providers can do some good every once in a while, but it seems only by accident. Which of these unbelievable karma tales did you find the most satisfying? Do you have any of your own? Let me know in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching.